this video, I'm gonna show you an incredible AI face swapping tool that is completely free. And this is how you can insert yourself into any scene you can imagine. Or you can use this for any storytelling type videos that require extremely consistent characters. I'll show you the basic workflow. Then I'll show you how to modify the workflow so you can make your characters talk like this. So as always, the process starts with generating an image of your character. In this case, I just created these astronauts in Mid Journey. After downloading the image, I always run it through Magnific. As you can see, it adds a lot of detail and realism to the image. From there, I ran the image through Kling AI using the prompt, a man looks into the camera floating weightlessly in a space station. And so from here, I'm just going to download the clip. And once you reach that step, you can now use the face swapping tool. Now this is a tool called Pinocchio and it can be kind of tricky to set up. So I'd recommend you come over to Tim's channel, Theoretically Media. And if you come down to this video right here, Tim has a really good tutorial on how to install Pinocchio. But essentially all we're gonna do here is we're gonna drag in a reference image of my face with this terrible looking picture. Next, we just have to drag in the video clip from Kling. And as you can see here, it's gonna show us a little preview so we can kind of see what it's going to look like. Now, a few settings that I like to use over here is I like to turn on CUDA and I'm gonna turn the pixel boost to 384 by 384. And that will make it so the face will be a little bit less pixelated. And then all I have to do is come down here and click start and it's gonna go ahead and start swapping the face. And that took about one minute, but we now have our finished video right here. So now I can just click here to download it. But if I wanna get even better quality, what I can do is I can open up Topaz right here and I'll bring our video into Topaz. And for the settings, I'm just gonna click enhance. We're gonna come down, recover detail. Now, I'm no expert with Topaz, but honestly, the result seems to come out fine. If I just crank that all the way to the top, we're gonna enable parameters. And again, we're just gonna crank all of these to their max settings. Then we'll come down here to frame rate and I'll change this to 60 and we'll do a quick export with that. And after doing that, here's what we got. Now let's say that you wanted to make your character talk. Well, in this case, before you export from Kling AI, first you wanna come down to this lip sync and you can either use one of the stock voices and basically type whatever you want that voice to say, or you can upload your own recorded voice. And that's what we're gonna do in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the voice here, click the button, and what we end up with is this right Incredible here. Incredible AI face swapping tool that is completely free. And then from here, the rest of the steps are the same. You would simply export the video, bring it into Pinocchio, and swap the face. Alternatively, you can use Face Fusion itself to do the lip sync. And so in this case, in the target, I'm gonna bring the video clip of me as an astronaut and then I'm going to bring into the source the audio file right here and then I'm going to unselect the face swapper and I'm going to select the lip syncer right there and then all I have to do is come down and click start and now it will go ahead and sync the audio file to the clip. And after doing that, here's what we ended up with right here. Incredible AI face swapping tool that is completely free. And so as you can see, you can sometimes get some strange, you know, distortion and artifacts. However, Face Fusion is free to use as of right now. And so unlike Kling, it's not going to cost you any credits to do the lip sync this way. Now, obviously you don't have to use yourself as the reference image. If you have a certain character and you want that character to be consistent throughout your story, you would simply want to, you know, upload a reference image of your character. Let's just use this little baby for example, and we'll bring the astronaut into the target once again. And after doing that, here's what we got. Now, another technique you could use to add even more consistency is to come into Mid Journey and let's say that we are wanting to use a certain character for a story 
and let's say that we are using, let's just go with this guy right here. And so all I would do here is download this image and then I'm gonna click this little image icon and I'm going to re-upload the image as a reference photo. And now we have this guy as our reference photo. We'll come to this little icon right here, which is the character reference. Click that on. And now I wanna leave this prompt in here because it describes how the man should look. But if I wanted to, uh, change the setting, then I'll just remove that section right there. And I'll just say he is on a expensive yacht in the ocean. And let's see what we get from that. By the way, if you wanna see how I track the top performing niches and videos so that I always know what kind of niches are performing the best. I have all that information in the Creator Secrets community on school, along with all the prompts, tools, and resources that you need to create these kind of videos, in addition to the monetization strategies that will turn your views into money. The link for that will be down in the description below, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so here's our guy on an expensive yacht, and now I can simply just add in whatever setting or situation I want him to be in. And so, as we can see, we have him in a bunch of different scenes and settings. Now, even though I'm using a reference image, there are, you know, subtle differences in the face. And even worse than that, once you start to run these images through Kling AI, that's when you really start to see a lot of distortion and you start to lose your character and lose the details of his face. However, if we follow the workflow from earlier, I'm going to run this image through Magnific, and this will be the primary reference image that I use in every single clip. So every single clip will look like this guy's face. So here I took a few of the images from Mid Journey and ran them through Magnific. And as we can see, they're pretty similar, but the face is slightly different on each of these images. Okay, so after running it through Kling, here's what we got. And it actually did a really good job retaining the facial details but still if we want to get that ultra consistency we're going to bring in our reference image right here from Magnific and we'll bring in our clip from Kling right here and I'll just run each of these clips through Pinocchio and just like that we now have an ultra consistent character. If I wanted to use myself as the character, it would be as simple as using this image as the reference image and just running each clip through Pinocchio again using myself as the reference. And after doing that, here's what we got. So that's how you can have ultra consistent characters. And don't forget, if you wanna learn how to monetize your content effectively, be sure to join the community on school. In any case, that's pretty much it for this one, and I'll see you in the next video.